Hey, Biller, how are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good, thank you. Um, just the obvious question, I think, is just uh, who impressed you the most out there uh, in the short period that you had those guys out there tonight? Well, I, I thought it was um, actually a really good uh, inner squad and how they ran it um, to get a good look at everyone. I, I liked a lot of the guys, and obviously we're going into the rookie tournament, so it's kind of a bit of a setup going into that. So I don't, I don't really have any specifics right now for you other than I thought the pace was good, and I thought the guys have had a really good development camp. And Brian Wilson has done a good job with his development staff along with uh, Craig. So it's been a, a productive number of days here. Peter Bob, the athletic. Hey, Craig, good to talk to you. Um, Andreas Wingerly made a, a nice play tonight, I think, on the white team's first goal. I guess, when did you first start scouting him and what stood out to you about him in Sweden that made you comfortable with bringing him over to North America? Well, he, he came out of Chris McFarland's department in, in the player personnel side. So that's really Chris's area. And, um, you know, I obviously Chris uh, – briefs us on the player and what type of player informs Joe about what kind of player and why we like him and what he did over there. So really that's a question for Chris, but we're, we're thrilled to have him. And as you can see, he's, uh, he's feisty. He's got some good speed to him and uh, tenacity. He's coming out of the Shalefti program too, which they do a really good job with their players. So we're excited to have him. Hey, Craig, I just wanted to ask about your opinion of uh, Eustace Annanen's play. I saw he only played that first period, but uh, just talk about his development, you know, going into this year and, you know, possibly playing games both in Denver and in Loveland. Yeah, he's progressed really well. Uh, he's really patient on the puck, which I, I think is uh, great. He tracks it well. Uh, he's got good size and presence in the net. So, you know, uh, with, you know, obviously all the goalie coaches we have here to be able to give him that support, um, I think is really important. And uh, he's been really receptive as well. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, I'm going to throw out some names here, uh, uh, some big names um, that kind of stood out and a lot of people are interested in. But uh, Justin Barron, his <laughs> shot, he, he's – He's just 19 years old, but he's he seems like he's already got a pro shot. And then in terms of Byram and Ranta and even Newhook, it just seems like those guys carry themselves uh, a little more manly than most. Would you agree? Yeah, no, you've, you've got some uh, yeah, some good uh, viewings of those players and we'll continue to get good viewings of them. They're, they've all got good poise. They've all got presence. They all were noticeable. Um, and they all, they all, I think, bring to the rink a, a good attitude along with it. So they've been enjoyable, I know, for the staff to work with, too. So And they're all different. Um, so we're excited. We, we feel strong in the group we've got. And like you said, it's been a really good week um, in the format we've done where we've got the development camp and then segueing to the rookie tournament and getting to even know these guys better and spend time with them. I think it's been really beneficial for everybody. Peter Bobby, Bobby. Hey, Craig, um, Jean-Luc Foudy, what have you seen out of him after this, or like obviously played in the AHL last year? What a, what noticeable differences do you, have you been able to see in his game so far that he improved on in the off season? And then do you have a sense of where he'll play this year, whether that's back in the OHL or in Colorado? Sorry, I missed, uh, I missed the player. Who were you saying? Uh, Foody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so he has an exemption status, so he's able to play in the American Hockey League for us, which is uh, – which is great. He played last year for us uh, under the situation with COVID. And then um, due to some rules, there's a handful of players that have junior eligibility left as a 19 year old can uh, continue on with the American League. So we're excited for to continue that uh, development program path with him. Um, he got a lot of good uh, touch points last year with the American League and, and look forward to continuing to work with him this season. We'll take two more here for Craig. Evan Hall, DMV. Craig, uh, Shane Bauer is entering his third pro year. Is he on the right track, or is there anything specific you guys want to see from him to take that next step? Yeah, like we work, obviously, especially with Greg um, and communicating and Jared to the player and things they like to see more from his game. Um, and he's very aware of it and uh, conscious of it. Um, he's a good pro. Uh, and I think the thing for him is, and I, you know, I even you saw a glimpse of it at out there today with some presence with the puck and take the puck to the net. He's got good speed. 
he has good hockey sense. So I think it just, you know, everyone expects these guys to make it their first year, but some players take a little bit of time and um, Shane's well aware and he's, and I, the coaches have done a good job showing them and, and supporting that and they'll continue to do that with them. Hey, Biller, I was just curious, uh, the pace out there seemed to be really fast and, and uh, it was good energy, but in terms of physicality, it didn't seem like these guys were willing to play the body as much. Did you guys basically tell them that, hey, don't kill each other because we have a tournament to go to? Well, I, that'd be helping us, I'll tell you, because <laughs> you always worry about guys getting hurt. But I would expect, um, you know, come the tournament in Arizona, you're going to get that physicality. And I thought the guys did a good job of using, you know, their assets. They're good, a lot of good skaters out there. And there was good pace and good compete. But um, I would expect the physicality piece will get elevated, especially when you start playing against, you know, the other teams and opposition and not yourself. And last one here, Peter Bobby. Yeah, what have you seen from Alex Bocage? Um, what, what stands out about his game? Well, if you saw it there tonight. Like, he's got a, an exceptional shot. Um, and he's got some hockey sense to get in the areas to get the puck uh, and his shot away. So, you know, it was good to see him show show himself and his skill set um, or why we signed him and, and we'll continue to work with. But it was a good, I thought, a good showing for him here. And we look forward to seeing him in Arizona. All right, thank you, Craig. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.